Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. And before we begin, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, I am so grateful that you are a sovereign God, that there is nothing in this world that happens without you knowing in advance that it was going to happen and that you're overseeing everything that we go through. Lord, as we learn from your book of Esther, that you are in control. I pray today you will teach us more about yourself. You'll teach us about your son, Jesus, and you'll guide us into your ways and the truth by your Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Haman Happy and Mad, and it's taken from the book of Esther, chapter 5 and verse 9. King Ahasuerus and Haman had just attended a banquet held by Queen Esther. The king's desire was to have Esther tell him her petition up to half the kingdom, and yet she delayed because she wanted them to attend yet another banquet the next day. In chapter 5 and verse 9, we see the reaction of Haman to the banquet as we read, Then went Haman forth that day joyful and with a glad heart. But when Haman saw Mordecai in the king's gate, that he stood not up, nor moved for him, he was full of indignation against Mordecai. Our verse begins, Then went Haman forth that day joyful and with a glad heart. Oh, how happy Haman was as he left the banquet held by Esther. He was joyful, merry, and with a pleasant, cheerful, and excellent heart as he departed the palace that evening. We might imagine him happily walking with a cheerful gait and humming or whistling a little tune as he skipped his way back to his home. However, that was about to change. The verse goes on to say, But when Haman saw Mordecai in the king's gate, that he stood not up nor moved for him, he was full of indignation against Mordecai. Therein lies that wonderful word, but, in our reading. This conjunction means what is about to be stated takes priority and precedence over what was just stated. And what comes after this but altered the very countenance of Haman. As Haman walked merrily along, he saw Mordecai at the king's gate. Perhaps he had not even left the palace for very long at all. And now Mordecai was in front of him. Let us not forget that Mordecai's refusal to bow to Haman was the cause for the edict to execute the Jews to be given in the first place. And now Mordecai stood not up nor moved for him once again. If we see this within our mind's eye, we might imagine Haman's countenance changing from his merriment to anger right away. We read, he was full of indignation against Mordecai. What started out as a very happy walk home turned into an internal torture for Haman. The sight of rebellious Mordecai ruined his happy visage. Emotions are funny things. One moment, we can be deliriously happy, and the next moment, we can be steaming mad. Like waves of an ocean, we, like Haman, can move from one emotion to the next. Movie writers know this and take people on an emotional roller coaster throughout their stories. As we consider Haman's emotions today, perhaps we will remember that God Almighty has never left this scene. Although Haman is unaware, God is at work. He will use every opportunity to fulfill his desires and purposes, and if it means altering emotional reactions, so be it. When we have emotional responses to our circumstances, Will we be wise enough to consider that Almighty God oversees, the Almighty knows, and the Almighty is able to use every situation, good and bad, happy and sad, glad and mad, to fulfill His purposes and plans for our lives and others? If so, we will find ourselves aligning with the Creator of the universe. And if not, we should buckle up for the emotional ride. Next time, we will see Haman return to his home, So read ahead, and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.